so hello guys i am exploring the uh, antenna design toolbox in matlab 2020 and um, now i must say that matlab is becoming a tough competitor for the uh, antenna designing tools like hfss so here you can see i am going to just write a few lines of codes uh, to design an antenna so this is the uh, radiating element and uh, basically this is a uh, rectangular paths actually I am making a printed monopole with a partial ground plane so you can see the antenna uh, you can see the antenna so this is the printed monopole uh, with a partial ground plane so as, you, as I rotate you can see the partial ground plane and and this is the antenna that I have designed just by writing some codes I can design this antenna so this is quite interesting so as you can see here, these are the various parameters of the paths, the feed line and the ground plane I have to set by writing the codes and then I have designed the antenna, um, I have uh, set the dielectric properties of the substrate uh, which is FR4 epoxy and the thickness of the dielectric material. So basically here I make this, here actually I make the antenna. So I make this P dot layers, so these are the layers, the top layer is the paths, the middle layer is the dielectric and the uh, bottom layer is the ground plan so just it is as simple as that and i can also simulate this antenna so the simulation takes around five minutes which is uh, almost same as hfss for this computer and i can see that this here the, this is the s11 parameter plot uh, the blue line is the result obtained from uh, matlab and the red line is the result obtained from hfss and you can see that the matlab is quite close to hfss uh, it almost uh, tracks the resonant frequencies correctly so this is interesting and here also just by writing a single line you can see the uh, the pattern so you can see this figure pattern just by writing one line pattern p p is the antenna here p is the antenna that i have created and 2.4 gigahertz is the frequency for which i want to see the uh, pattern and similarly the pattern for uh, the same pattern I want to see for 4 gigahertz. So you can see here, uh, this is the pattern at 2.4 gigahertz, and this um, this view at the side it actually helps us to visualize the actual orientation of the antenna and the radiation pattern. So this is interesting, I must say. Similarly, for the 4 gigahertz also we can see this, right? Just for comparison, I'm also uh, looking at the same thing from HFSS. So you can see. And this is the pattern at 2.4 gigahertz and this is the pattern at 4 gigahertz so which are again same actually this pattern is normalized i think uh, but it is difficult to say but the maximum value is 2.64 db uh, for 2.4 gigahertz and here also it is around 2.57 db so which is uh, quite close sorry for this one 2. Okay, here this slightly more uh, 3.1 dB. So again, it is dB and this one says dBi, and dBi is a more uh, like conventional uh, way of representing the far field gain. Then second, uh, then at last I also can see the uh, the current distribution. So again, for that just I have to write one line: current uh, p comma 2.4 gigahertz. Um, again, I am plotting this in a logarithmic scale. So as you can see here, so this is the current distribution at 2.4 gigahertz, and the current distribution at uh, this is the current distribution at 4 gigahertz. So we can actually see the current distributions also using this. Uh, in HFSS also, we can actually see the current distribution. Here I have plotted the current distribution at 2.4 gigahertz. Here also, the, although the, I think there is some phase mismatch between the two, uh, and I can see that here the maximum current is actually here at the uh, feed line and here also the maximum current is at the feed line so they are also quite close actually I am still uh, exploring this toolbox and I am not an expert yet uh, but I just want to share this experience with all of you and um, what uh, like what is more interesting for me is that just by writing one line um, suppose i equal to current so if I don't write this i equal to that means if we remove this output argument then it will plot this current distribution like this but if I put this output argument that is i equal to current then we actually get the current the values of the current 
so i am not uh, yet sure how this values are distributed over the paths or what is the convention of um, writing this representing this current values here but still i have a lot more to explore this toolbox but uh, this is interesting this is very interesting so just i want to explore this and i think this uh, this toolbox in matlab can be a great help uh, for ethernet designers thank you